Tupper says, are you ready to declutter another section in this hoarded basement? I know I am. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter another section in this hoarded basement. And all summer we have been chopping away and decluttering towards the back middle of our basement, working towards the front. But for this episode, I think I'm going to work over here against this back wall because I've never decluttered this section before. And I can kind of see paper and easy tossy tossies behind some of these bins. Plus right up here, we've been having a little bit of a water leak where the bathroom is. So hubby has to kind of like get in this area to see if he can fix it and which so much stuff in the way it makes it that much harder to get to it. So with Miss Pepper by my side, let's get started decluttering this section. Now, to prevent myself from getting really overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I have to go through, I'll kind of scan the area and pick the easiest thing I can let go of, which is right in this basket. There is some tissue paper and stuff in here. So I can very easily let this go. This is our first tossy tossy and it gets that decluttering momentum going. Now there is some unicorn stuff underneath of that and you all know how very attached I am to that. So I'm going to allow myself to keep it because I, I still feel attached. And what this is doing is recoding my body to let it know that it's safe to declutter and I'm not forcing myself to let go of anything I'm not ready to let go of yet. Now, the rest of the stuff in this bin belongs to hubby. So I'm going to need him to make the decisions on what he's going to keep and what he's gonna let go of. So I'll put that aside for him to go through. And underneath of that in the green bin is 101 Dalmatian stuff. Now, many of you guys know the reason why I hoarded this was because this was during a time of when I was being abused by my ex-boyfriend. And a lot of you had asked a really good question, and that is, why don't you get rid of it? Because it reminds you of that time. The truth is that the reason why I still hold on to it, it's not because it reminds me of him, it reminds me of how I was strong enough to get through that trauma. They're almost like small little trophies reminding myself that, see, you are strong enough to get through the hardest part of your life. So as the stresses of life come and go in your lifetime, this is just that reminder of when I'm scared that I am strong enough to get through anything. Now, I've been working through that trauma and I actually feel good letting go of a couple of items from this. So I'm going to let go of this puppy cup right over here. Same with the little child's wallet and also the playing cards. That's what feels good in my heart to let go and to remind myself that I'm still safe. So now I'm going to put a quick label on it so that I know what's inside this tub. And underneath of that is a pretty pink tub that's got some funky donkey crud on it that I'm gonna have to clean up. But let's see what's inside of this. And it is more craft supplies. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> These are older craft supplies too. I would say like late 90s and early 2000s. Now, I'm going to declutter this. I can, this is easy tossy tossy. But the rest of this stuff is kind of pulling on my heartstrings. And honestly, I feel like I'm going to make better decisions once I do uh, a Kamari method on all of the craft supplies. It's just easier for me to see everything that I have at once and then realize that yes, I have doubles and triples and that I can let this go. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pink tub and place it with all the other craft bins. So when we're ready to go through it, everything will be together in one spot. Hi everyone, I just wanted to pause the video for a moment to share that you can still sign up for Get Organized HQ 2022. It starts September 12th 
through the 16th. It is an online event that you can join. There is a free ticket and also an all access ticket. So you can pick whatever is convenient for your budget. There's going to be a ton of like tips and tricks for decluttering, organizing, cleaning, money management, cooking and recipes. So please join me, Tasha, Laura, Dawn the Minimum Mom, Cass from Clutterbug, and so many more to this online event starting September 12th. Please click on the link in the description box below so that you can get your ticket too. So now let's get back to decluttering because we got to that paper packaging part. So this is all easy tossy tossies. I'm going to be letting all of this go. We're going to recycle it as best as we can. And man, some of this stuff is nasty <laughs> because honestly, it's it's been sitting here for years. And this is a good time to reflect on how far we've come because all these boxes, tissue paper, mailers, they used to bring me security. My nervous system was wired to know that stuff protects me. So whenever things got stressful, I held on to everything. I could not distinguish what was valuable and what was actually trash. But now I'm able to do that because we've decluttered so many times during the past few years, I have slowly been reconditioning and recoding my mind and my body and my nervous system that it's safe. And all of this stuff that I just showed you is going to be a tossy tossy because I recognize it is safe to let it go. Now underneath this is a clear pink bin and I can tell you right now, it is sentimental in here. Now, some of this stuff is from the 80s and my childhood and I have a deep sentimental attachment to some stuff from when I was a little older. But for me and my success to keep decluttering, to keep moving forward, to keep reassuring myself that it is safe to declutter because I'm not letting go of anything that I still have deep rooted attachments to. And what I am feeling right now is inspired because down in this basement, I would love to create a beautiful shelving unit area where I can display all of my collections that mean so much to me. And underneath of that is some, hey, we've been finding ribbon again. <laughs> and we can let this go. I actually feel good letting this go. Now in this tub, I am finding more craft supplies. I knew that I had more craft supplies hoarded somewhere in this basement. So right now I'm glad that we're finding it now. And you can see that these, these are pretty old. And for me, it's going to be so much better for me to do a Kamari method on all of them. It's how I can categorize and process all of the items. If I try and let go of too much right now, it's, it's just gonna make me anxious because I can't see the physical multiples in front of me. But what I do feel good letting go of are these markers because I know we have a ton of markers upstairs and also this tin and the box that went to it. This is a watch that I got back in like the mid 2000s and I probably kept it as like to be a future organizer, but honestly, we can let it go. That's what feels good in my heart. So I'm gonna take that craft bin, label it and put it with the other craft bins. And next to those bins was a bin of again, more sentimental items from my childhood. This was actually my father's. My gosh, this is really old and I actually do remember him playing with it. So of course, when it comes to hoarding disorder, never force somebody to let go of something they're not ready to let go of. This is all directly aligned with our anxiety, depression, ADHD, PTSD, and letting go of something we're not ready to let go of is actually going to make it worse. Since keeping all of these items are the coping mechanisms for those past traumas and different reasons why we feel the need to hold on to it, letting go of it is only going to trigger us to hoard even more to self-soothe. It's just a cycle. So for now, I'm going to put all of these items into a bin while I'm still processing the emotions of past traumas and creating new, healthier coping mechanisms. But I can let go of this bin because this thing is nasty and funky dunky. 
Now, these papers are pretty old. Look, improving problem solving. Oh my gosh, this was before I was diagnosed with ADHD because I just didn't diagnose girls with it back then. But all of this paper, it's very old. It's kind of like college time. And I feel good letting go of this. Now, there was a blue mystery bin on the bottom and I found out that it was yarn. This is from like the mid 2000s. I had taught myself how to knit and it's just more craft supplies. Now this was a bunny that I used to make and it's not completed, but I used to give them out as baby shower gifts because this is kind of the time that we graduated college. Some of my friends were getting married. They were starting to have babies. So I made them as gifts. Look, oh my gosh. This was going to be a baby hat that I, I just never completed. Same with this over here. This looks like a project that I started and just didn't complete. Oh, ADHD, you always get me, don't you? <laughs> but when I am in hyperfocus, I can actually be organized. Look, this is a binder I created back then of all the different patterns and stuff and inspiration of items that I wanted to make. And you can definitely tell that this was created in a time period that I was dreaming of becoming a mommy myself. And look, here's the bunny that I was actually creating and I made a few of these and people absolutely loved them. Now this bin actually is labeled, I didn't see because it was on the opposite side. But for now, I'm going to put this with the other craft supplies. And with that, it's time to start sweeping up all the dirt and debris that was underneath all of those bins and boxes so that we can show you the tossy tossy pile. Now I'm going to recycle as much as I can because it actually hurts my heart to think that all of this is going into a landfill. And that's another reason why I probably held on to trash because I just didn't take the time to sort through everything Thing and properly put it into the correct recycling bin. And now me and Miss Pepper are so incredibly excited to show you the newly opened up space. Now, we did a nice big chunk against this wall. I cannot remember the last time I have seen this back wall. So now hubby can stand in this area and easily get to those bathroom pipes to fix any more leaks. So if you struggle with hoarding disorder or just looking for some decluttering motivation. My hope and my prayer is that this video gave you encouragement and inspiration to declutter and clean something in your home today too.